Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze, if you are new to this channel and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on my video. So, today's video is going to be a very fun one. I'm going to be trying out different gender predictions using old wife's tales or some of these theories that fly up and down. And the reason why I want to really do this video in, in, on my channel is because I have gotten a lot of gender predictions since I announced this you know, pregnancy. A lot of people have told me what they think I'm having and 100% of them have told me, boy, 100%. Now, especially in my last video where I talked about my symptoms, a lot of people said, oh, I had all the same symptoms as you, so, and I had a boy, so you're going to be having a boy, okay? So I understand some of those ones, but I feel like a lot of them are just saying it out of wishful thinking, like you've had two boys, and um, you've had two girls, so the next one should be a boy, or, you know, whatever. Anyway, we're going to be finding out the gender of this baby soon, but for this video, let us try the predictions. This is just fun, like I said, because to me, the only way you can find out your baby's gender is through a correct ultrasound scan, okay? And even at that, there's still room for error. The only, in fact, the truest, the realest way of finding out your child's gender is when they bring out the baby and say, Madam, wait till you're born. Madam, when they tap you. <laughs> when they tap you, Madam, wait till you're born, okay? That's the only way you can find out your baby's gender. I funny enough, they've never done that thing to me before, but I've heard women say that if you give birth in general hospitals or whatever, or all these uh, uh, birthing centers, and they will tap you and say, Madam, wait till you're born, so that you will not go and lie that uh, you, I gave birth to girl, you put gave me boy, or I gave birth to boy, you put gave me girl. Anyway, yeah, so if you would like to know my predictions, then just keep on watching. <laughs> This is gotten from i think okay this is from hoggy's site it's just a post that they had there so i'm going to be reading out the questions and be telling you guys my answers and then we'll all decide together what we think that i'm having okay based on this okay so the first question is are you carrying high if you're carrying high it's a girl if you're carrying low it's a boy hmm am i carrying high or low you guys i don't really know most of my pregnancies have always been high i think it's high i've never had long protruding tummy you know that's facing the ground except maybe a few days before i give birth that's when my tummy now starts facing the ground but normally my tummy is always round and my tummy is round right now let me show you guys sorry i have my microphone wires everywhere let me show you what my tummy looks like can you guys see it okay let me raise it up oh sorry i cannot show you guys my bare belly okay sorry <laughs> well let's see i think i'm carrying high or low or medium i don't know <laughs> i don't know if i do based on feelings based on like how i feel the baby i'm going to say that my baby is sometimes low sometimes high there are times that i feel the kicks way 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 down almost in my groin area and there are times i feel the kick way way up like the baby wants to you know kick my lungs or something so i can't really say based on that but judging by the look of my belly i will say girl then um the other one is do you have pregnancy acne or other types of skin blemishes one old wife still claims girls will steal your beauty oh if it's this one then i'm having a boy because my beauty wasn't stolen at all <laughs> okay initially when i first got pregnant i was having some skin issues i think in the first two or three weeks but since then my skin has cleared like this is my skin without makeup without anything i just washed my face and came out of the bathroom and i started filming i put um you know lip gloss so i will say yes that i'm having clear skin i'm enjoying my skin right now it's even clearer than it used to be when i was not pregnant so i'll say yes um based on that then that's a boy okay so the next one is have you noticed a change in your body temperature if you are feeling cold and icy it's a boy hot and sweaty it's a girl now i am cold and icy but my temperature to the touch is hot, okay? So when I hug my children, when I hug my husband, they're always like, why is your body hot? Your, mommy, your body is hot, mommy, your body is hot, okay? So to the touch, my temperature is, my body is hot, but my inner temperature, how I feel, I feel cold and icy. So that says, boy, I'm not even telling this thing. Maybe after, after the video, I'll tell it and see which one is higher. So that says, boy, okay? Then the next one is, have you noticed any significant cravings? If you are craving sweet things, you are having a girl. If you are craving salt or salty or sour foods, it's a boy. Now, I've been craving salty, sour, 
bitter foods okay i don't like sweet foods like i mean now it's better for me because i can take sweet things now without you know feeling like vomiting but earlier in my pregnancy i couldn't stand the taste of sweet things even now i haven't even gotten back to the way i used to be before pregnancy i still prefer you know um spicy uh sour salty foods okay yeah so that's boy okay both asian chinese and mayan cultures used a calendar to predict baby's gender if both your age and the year you conceived that even you're having a girl if they are if they are both odd or one is odd then you're having a boy for mine they are both even this is 2020 and i'm 32 so they are both even that means i'm having a girl okay so the next one is have you dealt with morning sickness an old wife still states that sickness means it's a girl if not then you're lucky Hmm, you guys, at the beginning time, I had serious, you know, morning sickness, vomiting, nausea, all those things. So, yeah, based on that, then I'm having a girl. <laughs> then the next one is, um, there's a fun gender predictor called the ring test, where you tie your ring. I'm not even going to do that one. You tie your ring to a string and hold it. Then if it goes around, you say, boy, I'm not even going to do that one. I don't have that time. And again, the weather is getting dark. <laughs> we all know that sympathy pains are a real thing. If your husband also puts on some baby weight and old wife still says it's a girl. In this case, no, because my husband has not put on any baby weight. In fact, me, I have barely put on baby weight. So how my husband put on the baby weight on my behalf? <laughs> so no. So if it's that one, then I'm having a boy. Okay. Have you experienced swollen legs or ankles? Rumor has it it's a boy. So swollen legs or ankles? Have I had swollen legs or ankles? No, I have not had swollen legs or ankles. So this is going to be a girl. Okay, next one is if you have experienced lots of clumsiness during your pregnancy, it's a boy. If you've been graceful, expect a girl. Have I been clumsy this pregnancy? I don't think so. I haven't been clumsy. I haven't been physically clumsy. I have been mentally clumsy. <laughs> if there's anything like that, mentally I've been forgetful. I have been yeah, mentally clumsy, anything like that, but physically nah, and I've not been physically clumsy um so that's a girl are you having crazy pregnancy dreams rumor has it that your baby's gender is opposite of the gender you dream about yes i've been having crazy pregnancy dreams but funny thing is i have never dreamt about a baby i've dreamt about a baby actually was it a girl or a boy it was a girl it was a girl but in that my dream i don't know whether i thought the girl was Eva. yeah I jumped when I gave it and I was carrying the baby. So that means it's a boy. I don't know. Yeah. So let's just say boy for that. Then the next one is, have you experienced frequent headaches during your pregnancy? If so, you could be having a boy. Yes. I have been experiencing so much headaches during this pregnancy. I have taken more paracetamol in this pregnancy than I have taken almost all my life. I don't know what the issue is, but every day I even complete my own that. I feel headache most of the times. I try not to take paracetamol all the time. So sometimes I have to endure the headache. I have to just try and sleep it off. In my previous two pregnancies, I never took paracetamol while pregnant. It's only in this one that I've taken paracetamol several times. So the next one is what color is your pee? If your urine is bright yellow, it's a boy. If your urine is light or dull in color, it's a girl. My urine has been bright yellow scarily yellow sometimes i used to ask myself that i i sure this is just we or something else i was thinking at some point that maybe it's my um pregnancy um supplement i was thinking it's the pregnant care i'm taking because i'm taking pregnant care but at the same time even days when i forget to take the pregnant care i still you know have bright yellow peas so yes based on that then it's a boy then how is your mood if you're happy or mellow expect a boy if you're moody it's a girl hmm i think i'm moody i'm more moody than happy yeah i'm more moody than happy like i can count how many times i felt oh i'm so excited i'm so happy i'm more moody than happy so yeah i'll say that this is definitely a boy a girl based on my mood sleep position pay attention to the way you sleep the way you lay down on the bed if you prefer sleeping on your left side you have a boy if you prefer sleeping on your right side you have a girl now the funny thing is with my last two pregnancies i actually preferred okay no chorus time i prefer sleeping on my right eva's time i prefer sleeping on my left this pregnancy i prefer sleeping on my right so 
which one which what's what is it <laughs> so yeah if it's based on what they wrote here i like sleeping, i prefer sleeping on my right so it is um a girl so the next one is if your hands are dry during pregnancy you are having a boy if they are soft you are having a girl i don't know what they mean by dry i don't have dry hands neither do i have okay i have soft but my soft hands is genetic like i've always have soft hands whether parent or not so uh, yeah but based on this damage i'm expecting a girl face weight gain if you if your face gets fuller it means you're having a girl yeah my face has gotten fuller i think i'm having a girl if it's this one because <laughs> based on how my face looks now like i see my sometimes i i take pictures and i'm like when my face becomes this swollen even my nose is already getting swollen you know but my body is still pretty much the same so yeah that means i'm it, i'm having a girl the next one this one is actually funny toddler advice get baby advice from a nephew or a friend's little boy if a toddler boy shows interest in your belly you have a girl if he ignores you it's a boy so um the only friend's toddler boy that i know is kaito nello's son and he's not interested in my belly or even me at all the boy does not care like he cannot he could he can't care less okay so yeah i don't I, uh, yeah if it's that one that means i'm having a boy the next one is stress test a child tends to be of the same sex as the parent who is less stressed at the time of conception okay we all know this story my husband was not stressed me i was stressed out freaking stressed out okay so if it's that one then i'm having a boy so i think that's the end actually there are more that i could check out but like i said weather is getting really dark so let me just end this video here okay so based on this i've not calculated i'll calculate and put it somewhere on the screen but based on my recollection of the answers i've been given i think i have answered more of boy than girl i think so correct me if i'm wrong i don't know let's see let's see how it goes um, I can't wait to do my gender review. It's going to be happening very soon on my birthday. So that is when we'll know for sure, for sure what I'm having. Or maybe after I give birth, we'll know for sure, for sure. But yeah, um, that's it basically. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think I'm having... Are you team boy or team girl? If you're team boy, then, you know, uh, indicate. If you're team girl, then indicate. Okay, let's know who is going to win this battle. <laughs> yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was fun thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.